not a bad play, but not from Williams on the left wing. J.C. Howard's taking it. Harper drives inside, and that's an offensive foul against Justin Harper. Four fouls on him. And Darius Garrett back in for the Spiders. Mr. Block. Darius Garrett blocks some shots here. Here comes the crowd. Turnovers are just about even. Smith breaking, breaking down on the dribble. That is always up, this you know, Smith never looking at the ball, looking for a teammate. And a foul on Anderson. State championship last year, coached by a very good friend of mine, Andy Muse. The local product joins Josh Howard, Chris Paul, L.D. Williams, all local kids who stayed at home to play Wake Forest. Those are some pretty good players. Yeah, Chris Paul wasn't bad. Yeah. In college or after college. Now the crowd slowly on their feet. They're raising the volume up in this place. And a holding foul called on C.J. Harris. 1975, 76, 77 was the leading scorer for the Spiders. Yay. That's an impressive list. I'd like to coach that team right there. Tim Duncan at the top of the list, as he should be. His jersey in the rafters, as of most of those other guys as well. All right, coach, we're all tied up with about five minutes to play. This is what it's all about. This is what it's fun. This is why you practice hard at the end of every day to make plays down the stretch. And Giroux never left his feet, put his arms straight up in the air, but got him with the body. It's a new word I learned, excuse me, I'm dyslexia here. Knocks them both down, so it's a two-point lead now for the Demon Deacons, under five minutes. In a zone, Wake Forest is. 10-3 run over the last four minutes, three seconds. That ball almost gets thrown away, but Gonzalez saves it. Got to watch Gonzalez and Butler right here. Both capable of bombing threes. Shot clock is at nine. Butler hit one earlier, and that won't go. Aminu snares the rebound. Good shot. McFarland wants the ball, and they finally get it to the big man. Six, six hands slapping a little. Oh, triple team, and here comes Anderson. He's a cool customer, Kevin Anderson. Pulls that out, waits for help. Jerome. And a tip from out of nowhere, Justin Harper. For Richmond is, this is an unusual situation for them. They've been in tough road games all year long and won a lot of them. They believe they can pull games out like this. Because they have. The break off the glass. Defensive breakdown, L.D. Williams. It's too easy. The help defense didn't help that time. L.D. drove by everybody. 2-3 zone for Wake. off a little bit Gonzalez from about 30 feet flames off and here comes demon the demon deacons Harris got numbers Anderson all by himself shoot two foul and Ishmael Smith UNC Wilmington and he ties that Leo Jr. They ask, you know, what, what, what do you want somebody to know about you that they don't know? I love this quote. I am six feet tall. Not 5'11". I am six feet tall. I thought that was great. We've had 16 ties tonight. Under three minutes. And the thing that's... Richmond doesn't have right now. Jerome's the leader defensively out there in the back line. He's not on the floor because he landed on that arm as he comes back, but that's a big point. Shot clock's at three. Touch shot won't go. Offensive rebound and put back by L.D. Williams. When you go for the block and miss, you can't rebound. That burned him right there. 
LD has put together those huge shoulders, and he's trying to carry the Demon Deacons to a victory. Last day of all nine, and it goes down for Ryan Butler. What a shot. Used the defense momentum against them. Defender kept going. He spun back. Harris to Ishmael Smith. Richmond can seal off the defensive glass. Much better shot at pulling the big upset. They're giving up too many offensive boards. And the shot clock is whittling down, now under 10. McFarland died for the ball. Anderson's guarding and it gets stolen. Here's Anderson, the breakaway. The splitting of the defense, and he lays it in. Timeout, Richmond. L.D. Williams has really been the go-to guy here late in the second half, and he has the basketball. Ten points, ten rebounds. Whoa! Was going up. Easy for me to say, catch. I never came near that man. Jumping at all. Boy, is this a big possession in this game. Now they're calling a set play. They haven't done this all night long. I would think number 14 is going to get it at the end of the play. Drove back in now, 41. Got Williams on him. Let see the shot clock. One well, minute in the game clock. Just five and four and three. Gonzalez gets stripped. LD Williams. It's two on one. Laying it down, CJ Harris. You got to give LD Williams credit. He missed the dunk of one inning, did not hang his head. Sucked it up, played great defense, and got the steal. The local kid ties it up at 62. Timeout, Spiders. L.D. Williams just missed the layup. Slaps it loose without a foul. Gonzalez knows he's got his man up the floor. Harris, layup. Tie game. They have timeouts left if they need him. As you can see down below, you have one. Here we go. Double team in the point guard. Smart move, get out of his hands. And he'll let him get a pack. Anderson, Greg him down with a dribble. It took a little bump there. No whistle. What's the timeout? Did he get it? No, it's a jump ball. Arrow goes away to Richmond. Butler will bring it in. And a man. The senior, Gonzalez. From 30 feet. Front rim, that's it. With time. The shot off, balanced by Williams, won't go. McFarland, did he get it off? Did he get it off? I don't think so. They're going to the scores table to check. Carl Hess, Les Jones, and Brian Dorsey are going to earn the paychecks right here. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think the, it is. The red light is already. The ball was in his hand, and the red light went off, so looks like we're going to play extra. 